Hello, hello, hello. Uh, yeah, hi everyone. So, yeah, uh, let's continue our stream and let's continue working on this uh, Smart Shape 2D import, adding this to, to our project. So, uh, yeah, last stream I was planning to use tile map and stuff like that, but uh, then CPT Fubar came to my stream and said like, hey, hey, dude, there is a sh smart shape to deep plugin that you can use. And uh, yeah, that's what we actually trying to do right now. So uh, I replace in my ground with uh, I turn off uh, this disable the collision and, and sprite. So uh, right now I'm trying to to create at least some basic form so I can uh, so I can, uh, yeah, at least have something. Um, okay, so uh, yeah, let's uh, get back to the guide. So editing shapes and I think, uh, so uh, yeah, for some reason I don't have a texture anymore. material oh wait a second I don't see it any... mm, okay so first of all we need under shape material under shape material so uh, this means like I need to create a shape material because uh, to give it the life we want to edit shape material in the inspector yep under shape material expand fill textures and you'll see an empty array I don't actually see it The hell? Come on, let's. Uh, I think. Editing shape. No. Oh, okay, yeah. So I need to. shape and then fill textures and fill textures we will increase it to one and then we'll create a texture I think I have the style set so I can use them yep oh wait no 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 I was planning to have a gradient gradient texture then press here the new gradient then we're gonna have, yeah, we need some colors. So this is the ground color that I have. We'll use this one as a base color. Hello? No, 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 wait. Why, why the hell? Okay. And now I need to select lighter color. This one. What about AK? 
Okay, maximum is 4, 4k. Uh, so first of all, uh, I remember there was a way to change direction. Nice to what about one? Why this is oh shit. Why there is no undo? Undo one. Undo. Hey, hey, come on, come on. Okay, yeah, like this. that buckle to scene that's not makes no sense oh how to rotate that ah oh, fucking hell should it be one here and then zero here no that's not the Ah, uh, come on. Uh. Maybe I choose like wrong gradient. Uh, gradient texture to the okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's remove it and let's use. Gradient texture to D. Oh, okay. New gradient. Same here. Then the second color. The fuck? Why? Why are you doing this to me? Jesus Christ. Yes, we have that, okay. Doesn't make no sense, it doesn't change any single piece. Bill. Yep, let's, let's have it as this. Like this, linear, yeah. What about 4K? No. Why it's so broken? Repeat, repeat. No, that's weird. Okay, 
so I just need to adjust it a bit and uh, th that's fine and uh, maybe uh, it is too big hmm. but let's have it yeah like this I think that's that's fine finally we have it we have uh, what the fuck? Can you just save it? Okay, shape material. Now we need something different. I think that's uh feel uh edge meta something i guess that's what uh, that was something about the yeah feel texture of the shape it's for the closed shape only uh to give it some life uh, under shape material expand feel texture that's fine we've done this shape material pretty yeah, that's shape material, and then you need to select the edge meta material. Set the resource to newly created element. Oh, fucking hell, this is the material edge metadata. Okay, let, let's try to do this. Okay, one, then we should create like. first element of edge matter material that you said shape material I don't have shape material here okay you just explained me the same one more time shape material edge matter material and then element one yes we have that set the value of the edge material property to the new resource type of material edge okay material edge Yep, we have it. Then probably need to press on it as well. Uh, expand edge material that you just said. Add the element to the textures and assign the texture to one that you want to use as an edge. Is it just the textures? Okay. Yes, we, we have what we were trying to do, uh, uh, so we have this only like one sprite, but why, why it's one? I need more. Mm, okay, the shape edge should now update using the texture you set. If nothing happened after setting the texture, try to force the shape to update. Yeah, 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 just an point. Mm. If you want to add normal textures. No, it doesn't. It doesn't look like this. Um, squish and scratch. Um, you square texture, you step texture. Yeah, that's like, my uh, is it uh, above or uh, like beyond the main line? A 
Okay, probably, probably I used the weird texture. So let's let's uh, uh, resave it. So yeah, I have a background here. Then probably the better idea will be to move it a bit uh, like here. Yeah, like this. And then let's export it. And uh, let's see what we will have. Just replace this one. Mm. Maybe there is something wrong with my texture, I don't know. But it should be working. I mean, it should be working in the same way as it was working before. Okay, yeah, I, I can put it like this, uh, as I planned to have it. But why it's not everywhere? I don't get it. Edge material. Wild. And... Uh, that's the set index. That's the offset. Uh. Oh. Corners. If your shape has a sharp corner, the texture can look a bit more to places. It's not working. I made a mistake somewhere. Hey, Siger. How are you doing? I'm good, I'm good. i trying to do the smart shape stuff for, for the project. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, uh, for some reason, it just doesn't work for me. Yeah, you see, it's like uh, how how can you use how can you use uh, the smart shape to make a ground for, for for the player? So yeah, it's quite cool. I don't know why it doesn't work. Maybe there is something wrong with like, with my. looks like it have fixed size so I can't actually mm, I don't know this is all weird but it just have fixed size maybe there is something I should do with with this image the way how uh, how I don't know import it What what should I do with this? Oh, come on, let's let's check some tutorials. Uh, what guy's gonna say? In this video, we're going to be having a look at how you create 2D curved terrain inside of Godot. We'll have a look at closed shapes, open shapes, and how to set up the materials for them. We'll also have a look at how you can add collision shapes and at how you can snap objects to the terrain. Sounds good? Now let's get started. 
So, Godot is in... Okay. We done plugin installation. Let's, uh, let's check more. Now, where is my internet? And going to Node CD. Let's scroll down. And here you will see a couple of new nodes. You also see some nodes and resources that are prefixes RM shape. These are old nodes and are deprecated, so don't use them. What we need is under SSD shape base. And okay. we will start with a closed shape. Okay, create, yeah, yeah. And you will see that a couple of new options appeared in the toolbar. This order, otherwise it gets kind of messy. You can remove points by right clicking. And once I have my basic shape down, I prefer to switch to the second tool, which lets you select points and move them around. This tool also lets you subdivide existing lines. So now we have a basic shape down, let's add some background texture. For the background, I have this basic 16 by 16 round square and you can add a pattern to it if you want. So, once you've dragged the texture into your project... Okay, come on, we need texture now the edges. Now textures to the edges. I really love how they introduced this in the wiki. It's like, texturing the edges. This is where the rubber hits the road. The real meat of the tool. <laughs> um, yeah, they're not wrong. But this part is also kind of difficult. So pay attention to what I do. So, with our shape selected, let's go into Edge Matter Materials. Let's open it up and change the size to 1. In this slot, we need to select an Edge Matter Material. And you will see this massive list of resources. This is currently a bug with Godot itself. But let's search for... Uh, there we go. SS3 Material Edge Metadata. Let's open it up and you'll see a bunch of new properties. First we need to set an edge material and then we need to scroll all the way down again. And let's select SS2D material edge. There we go. If you go into this resource, you'll see that there now is a slot for the textures. For the edge texture, I'm going to use this 16 by 16 grass style I made. Now let's go into textures and increase it to 1. And I will drag in the grass texture. And here we go. Ow. Now we have our edge. And now let's change the underside of the shape to dirt. So once again for this I'm going to use a 16x16 16 16 texture. But you might be tempted. Why? Why and how? How and why? Okay, where is my... Okay, it's here. It's down here. Maybe it should... Should have, like... Uh, I don't know. Let's... Uh, let's change the image size. No one... No, 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 no. Okay, let's change the canvas size. Like this. Is this is fine? Uh, no, no, not saving. Let's export it. I don't know, maybe... Maybe just don't like the size of texture. I mean, I know, I know that's weird, but anyway... Sometimes it just doesn't work. Okay, let's re-import. There we go. Nope. Nope. Nothing changed. What the fuck is wrong with you? What if I will add a second texture? The same. Huh? 
What you gonna do about that? I see nothing. Like completely nothing. Ah, oh, this is this is all weird. Maybe that's too big. I don't get it, why it's not working for me. Maybe there is some... Um, some requirements for... For the edge metamaterial. Is that even change something? No. Okay, edge rendering. So I can select where, or is it like where to apply? Or where to just render. Okay, I see it's where to render them actually. Come on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is quite interesting tool and I really want to use it but I don't don't understand why it's not working for me. Do you Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay. I know the good idea how to do that. Let's just delete F. And then let's create it from the scratch. Let's probably use this tutorial as a Example. Have to draw it upside down because it's going on the underside for so, shape. Yeah, let's start from this shape manipulation part. And going to Node 2D, let's scroll down, and here you will see a couple of new nodes. You'll also see some nodes and resources that are prefixed. What we need is under SS2D shape base. And 
we will start with a closed shape. Hit create and you will see that a couple of new options appeared in the toolbar. The first one is for creating points. So let's use that to create our basic shape. It has to be in clockwise order, otherwise it gets kind of messy. Okay. Shape base and then, yeah, let's use shape closed. Yep. Done all the same. You can remove points by right clicking. And once I have my basic shape down, I prefer to switch to the second tool, which lets you select points and move them around. This tool also lets you subdivide existing lines. So now we have a basic shape down, let's add some background texture. For the background, I have this basic 16x16 16 16 round square, and you can add a pattern to it if you want. So once you've dragged the texture into your project, let's select it and then go to, to the import tab and then go to presets. Let's select 2D pixel because it's a pixel art texture. And then one important thing we need to set is the repeat. Let's set that to the There end you go! Because we want to repeat the texture over the entire shape. There you go! Oh, come, come on. Now we need to uh, undo every single piece here. <laughs> uh, okay, I think there is like it's too hard to undo everything, so I just will create it one more time it's like a, a learning a way to learn things you just need to repeat them all like one one thousand times and you're good to go or you already hate it okay let's leave it as is for now Okay, shape material. Uh, oh, we have something here. Okay, then the fill textures one. And then we're going to have gradient, yes. Because that's how I plan it to be. To have a fucking gradient. Okay, then let's go to the colors. Jesus Christ. Yay, okay, we have a gradient now, cool. Let's, uh, let's, 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 yeah, gradient is fine, let's, uh, it should be filled like this, then 90, well, 720, like this, yep, exactly as I wanted. Okay, okay, we have a gradient. Now we need to have this uh, edge material. So here it should be uh, metadata. Then we open it. Then we need to select edge, then open it and then texture. And here we will import our texture. But first we need to uh, Re import it with repeat flag enabled and in this case it should be good to go oh it is working 
Uh, it's inside, but that's fine. We can fix that. Yeah, was this offset? No? Hey, offset. Render offset. You alright? No, you're not alright. Definitely not alright. That's too much. What about zero? No, you definitely don't like the zero. It's a, a bit of... One more, one more. Yeah. There we go. Okay, cool. We have that. Let's let's scratch it a bit a bit better probably. Okay, now we need to add collisions. Because without collisions, it shouldn't be uh, working. Okay. Overlaps the grass. This is because we need to set up some constraints for when to show the dirt and when to show. The yeah, that's good, but uh, not now. Yet. <laughs> Let's add have some... a look at some more ways you can manipulate your shape. Let's finally add some curves. So select the second tool in the toolbar and then hold shift and then drag on a point. You'll see mm. that it gets kind of messed up, but if Magic. we drag it the other way around, there. Okay, I like that. That's good. Make it more, uh, more round. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's quite there easy. We, go. we have some nice curves. We want to create a new shape. The dirt. So to fix that, let's go into the shape and click on the grass material and scroll all the way down. And then let's hit save. Going to create a new folder. Improving the materials. <clears throat> See that it created a bit of a curved ending edge. It's a bit to make it look better. This depends on how much room there is. For that, we can use the edge property tool in the toolbar. If you then hover over an edge and right click on it, a menu will appear. If you click material override, Mm -hmm. You can enable and disable. Okay, I need collisions. So now, hurry up! Master creating the materials. Let's tackle the collisions part of this entire process. I need creating them. Collision shape. You press this button, <laughs> and that's about it. But... If you show the collision shape, you'll see that. It... Oh my God! Are you really? What the hell? Why an... And... Will you be just working? Uh, 
Where are you running? No, I have no idea where this guy is running. Okay, yeah. Uh, let's let's can we just disable it? Not just. Uh, Wait a second, I don't get it, what they... Uh, what's what's to press to check the... And collision? that's about it. If you show the collision shape... Oh, it just... Wait, what? We don't have collision Let's shape the most now. difficult part of this entire process. Creating the collision shape. Press this button. <laughs> and that's about it. If you show the collision Okay, shape, it creates a node. No, it doesn't work for me. It doesn't work. Static body to D. Oh, because uh, maybe it's like it don't doesn't like that I already have some polygon to this stuff here. Hmm. <laughs> okay, let's let's create another static body to D. Will be uh, yeah okay fine, that's fine. What you don't like? So it has no shape. This node has no shape. Okay, it's a uh, no. There you go. There you go. Okay, I like this. This is much better. Let's have some parallax. Yay! Okay, it looks awful, at least for now, so uh, I still need to add, I still need to add uh, something like, something like a shadow from the, from the grass. Yeah, but let's remove this ground. Now you will be crowned. Like this. Oh wait, no! <laughs> I think I also need to have something in inner. Oh, hello, Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, Jesus. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm good. I'm actually finally finished something. I'm using this pretty nice tool. Mm. How it called smart shape to D. That's the plugin when you can create basic forms for your anything basically for blocks and anything like that. 
So this is quite cool. Quite a tool. And what the hell is that? I don't like this line. But anyway, I will try to uh, change the texture. Let's let's maybe at least at least at least first check the. It will be looks better. I hope so. So uh, yeah, shape material, then edge meta. Ev oh, okay, no, no, no. I need uh, I need to check colors. So I need this one. That's and use these colors, and then I repeat it here. Then I need to delete that shit, and then use my brush. I think I can create a bit bigger to 56. Oh, hello! <laughs> Wasn't sure you're still there. What about you, Jusius? How are you doing? Let's export it as a PNG right here. Yeah. Now let's let's import. But I think I need yeah, repeat is enabled, that's fine. Oh I see. Oh it's a bit Scratched outside. Mm, I think I need to. Uh... Uh... Yeah, because it's scratched, so I think it use. Uh... Oh fuck. I mean, in this case, I can increase to to 56 here as well, and uh, I'll put it like this. Yeah. Export. Yeah. And then re-import it one more time. Well, what just happened? The fuck? Yeah, that's... This is much better now. I think color is still different. Why? How? Is it... Like I don't use the full pressure or what? No. It's all here. Oh, I forgot to change the color. Uh. What can I do? Yeah, come on. Yeah, there you go. Now it's better. Okay, let's let's test it now.
and it's it's repeating itself. I don't feel like so. Yeah, I need to play with it around to, so we will just have it a bit better, like less less obvious that it's actually repeat itself all the time. But yeah, I mean, this is a quite a result. Finally, I can I can do actually with this shape anything I want. Like, let's add something here. Oh, this is look weird. This is looks broken as fuck. Oh, that's nice. Okay, this is quite cool. Strong plane. Yoohoo! Eh, <laughs> uh, yep. For some reason the frame rate is terrible, terrible frame rate. Anyway, I think we uh, done a great job, at least launching this dude to the space. <laughs> nice, I like that. Okay, cool. Uh, I think that's all for today. So uh, we'll be f continuing uh, this work uh, mm, tomorrow. I think tomorrow I need to adjust it a bit, improve the texture, maybe increase it and just test it. And then I also need to draw some fog here. So I have this active fog, which is part of the parallax, and I need to have like a stable or stale fog, fog that will be just standing here like, like on these layers we can see. So I just need to separate it from the uh, sprites and uh, yeah, apply it here. So yeah, that's all for today. Thank you guys for being here. It was quite empty, but anyway. Thank you and uh, see you. Oh, whoa, this is like, I just, <laughs> welcome Mustafa, welcome to, to my stream, almost ended stream, but yeah, delayed, huh? well, yeah, sorry, <laughs> but uh, yeah, really appreciate that you followed me, uh, so I will be streaming tomorrow in the same time so yeah hope to see you yeah see you dude